Welcome to the Adventures of Gordon and Joni, North Dakota and Canadian National Parks Epic Road Trip. This is episode 13, Flaming Gorge, Utah, and Dinosaur National Monument. In the last episode, we visited Yellowstone and Grand Tetons National Parks. In this episode, we are headed south to Flaming Gorge area of Wyoming and Utah and Dinosaur National Monument. Once again, we didn't have a plan. After Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks, we didn't know what we were going to do. My parents loved traveling, and my dad and my mom would often say one of the best places that we visited was Dinosaur National Monument. When my dad found out we bought our first van, he insisted that we go there. It took us 13 years, but we finally made it. And now I know why they loved it so much. Flaming Gorge is absolutely beautiful. And Dinosaur National Monument is truly a hidden gem. We took Highway 191 through Wyoming, heading south towards Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area. We left Jackson Hole, Wyoming, at around 10 a.m. and took Highway 191 down to Rock Springs, Wyoming. That is about where Fleming Gorge National Recreation Area begins. Fleming Gorge National Recreation Area is a stunning area located in northeastern Utah and southwestern Wyoming. It's named after Fleming Gorge, a deep canyon formed by the Green River. There are dramatic red rock cliffs clear blue waters, and abundant outdoor recreation opportunities. Activities at Flaming Gorge include fishing, boating, kayaking, canoeing, hiking, camping, and wildlife viewing. The reservoir is famous for its trophy trout fishing, attracting anglers from all over the country. The surrounding landscape offers numerous hiking trails, ranging from easy walks to challenging backcountry routes. In addition to outdoor activities, Visitors could also enjoy scenic drives along the Flaming Gorge, Yuntas National Scenic Byway, which offers breathtaking views of the canyon and surrounding wilderness. Overall, Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area is a paradise for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts, offering a wide variety of activities in a stunningly beautiful setting. It is absolutely gorgeous. It was cloudy but was still, the canyons were just stunning. We drove all day and eventually stopped for the night at Steinacre Lake State Park Campground, which is just north of Vernal, Utah and Dinosaur National Monument. It was a beautiful campground and except for the camp host, we had the campground totally to ourselves, which was nice and peaceful. We drove into Dinosaur National Monument, which is a fascinating park located in both Colorado and Utah, USA. It's renowned for its rich deposits of dinosaur fossils, including dinosaur bones, tracks, and other artifacts. The monument covers over 200,000 acres and offers visitors a chance to see these ancient remnants preserved in the rock formations. One of the most famous areas within the monument, which we visited, is the Quarry Exhibit Hall, where you can view a massive wall of dinosaur bones still embedded in the rock. This wall contains over 1,500 dinosaur bones, including those of, and I'm probably going to butcher this, <laughs> Allosaurus, Apatosaurus, Diplodocus, <laughs> and Stegosaurus. Aside from the dinosaur fossils, the monument also boasts stunning landscapes with deep canyons carved by the Green and Yapa Rivers, as well as opportunities for hiking, camping, and river rafting. It's a fascinating destination for anyone interested in paleontology, geology, or simply the beauty of the natural world. And you can actually touch a real dinosaur bone, which I did. Gordon, I hope you enjoyed watching episode 13, Flaming Gorge, Utah, and Dinosaur National Monument. Both are such hidden gems. Our next episode will be an overview of, our, of this adventure 
with video and photos that highlight our North Dakota and Canadian Rockies epic road trip, along with statistics of our trip. As always, thank you for watching and like and subscribe if you wish to see more of our adventures.